What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Gibbous. We are back with Mr. Type. Last time we <laughs> shot that rocket at the Brother Gleam, and uh, now we need to get out of this place. Now there is a ladder that seems exactly like the right place to start. It's an enticing ladder to some upper level. Mm. Or the window. Those would be the two spots where I would be, be trying to get outside. But the ladder is probably the more likely one. It looks very, very climbable. Well, if it looks climbable, it probably is climbable. Yeah, but we don't Damn get outside. I know it'd be locked. Do we look at the hatch? Yes. Looks like a hatch heading to an upper floor. Yeah, but it's locked. I wonder if it's locked. It is. Well, that's nice. A little extra safety is always appreciated. Not sure if it's extra safety, but I really, really greasy. Either they lubricate it, or these star jamooks are some serious sebum seeping slime balls. I'd say the ladder. It goes from floor to ceiling. Something could slide up and down on it without much difficulty. Yeah, it totally doesn't sound wrong without context. Nope. But you want to slide up and down, man. That's your thing. It's all about stars with these people for some reason. Yes, that's totally a star. Well, it technically sorta is, but you know. No way to reach it. Be a bit imaginative. There probably is a way. Cracked surface. Got a serious structural hazard over here. That would be another way out, right? Looks like a healthy crack it might spell its doom. Yep. I'm gonna need something to whack it good if I want out this way. Got something good in your, something stout you know, and hefty and swung like mad to bring that wall to the ground. Something, something good and hard. No, desk. Not a particularly interesting starry cult desk, if you ask me. Look, they like their stars. Not it doesn't always have to be that interesting I'm not to into you. this desk at all. Why not? Fire extinguisher. I'd gotten lucky with the fire extinguisher. Must not have triggered it completely. It still had a lot of huh, fire in it. It was just as hard to control as before. But I had a feeling I could put it to good use one more time. So into the cracked surface it is. <coughs> Sorry. Probably right. Floor. A little color twist to the classic Chakra Temple floor. That's nice. I guess. It's still it's just classic really, checkered. Really shiny. Yeah, they are slimy, so it's shiny. I'm using it as I speak. Y yes. Brother Gleam, what up, mate? Brother Gleam is sleeping off a particularly demanding day. We don't know about his day, but don't his last don't worry. ten minutes were probably not the most enjoyable one Sleep of it. Sleep tight, little cultist. Don's watching over you. Not much longer. I don't want to disturb the guy. He's <clears> doing <throat> his beauty sleep. Yeah, he's badly needing that one. Astronomical mumbo jumbo. It's a heap of astronomy related instruments. Wait, there's a piece of wire sticking out from it. Wire? It's a very useful looking piece of wire. A piece of wire Can always is useful. Particularly useful? You did. I think I'd rather just pick it up. Well, yes, because it looks useful. Looks like a hair. Huge barricaded door. Huge sturdy door. <clears throat> it's barricaded from the outside. How do you know? Of course it's locked. Of course. <coughs> barricaded from the other side. Makes sense. Or just locked. Here, but it seems that they don't think too highly of that gleam guy either. Well, I think I can reach if I leap. But why? Only stars, no stripes. I see. So they don't like freedom very much. I never thought I'd say this, but I don't think I'm heavy enough. Me or the stuff I'm lugging around. How do I get into that notebook? Like this. Got a fire extinguisher bag and I still pack some 
punch. My way through my way out is through that cracked surface in the wall. Well the fire extinguisher could help with that. Try to mess with his starry flag, but I can't seem to break it loose. So we need to carry something big. It's a good Back books. A lot of literature. Most, if not all of it, star related. Figures. Gotta know them stars, I guess. Look, stars are, are the, the thing, you know. Stuff, really. Why not? You're the star of this story. So what do we got? We got the hatch. We probably need to get in here first. I don't see it. Like, can we use that? Right then and there, I thought of placing the fire extinguisher on the desk so as to help steer it and set it loose on the cracked surface of the wall. I could make tracks from this place and never look back. Yes. It came to me then that doing so would make a mighty commotion, though. And these starry jamooks would be all over me like a shot. I'd never get to explore whatever it was hiding on the other side of that ladder. No. There I stood. A Joe with one foot in a mystery and the other missing a shoe. They Actually missing one on both shoes. And I wasn't going to leave uh, both feet. finding out just what the hell they were all about. I had to think of something else. So you don't like that solution? I got it. Can we clean the floor? God damn it. <coughs> no. That, that's a no. Can we... Well, he said the rail was kind of... Maybe Cleaning this works. Do a damn thing. Fine. Cleaning the ladder. Cleaning it won't do it. Yeah, fine. How about... I've got the right idea, but I don't think I should attach it directly to the ladder. Or do you want to shoot that hatch out? Are you serious? Yeah, that would make one steady guided fire extinguishing rocket. But I need something to fasten it to the rail. Hmm, yeah, but not in my pocket. Fine. All right, made a nice little sliding hook thing. Halfway there. A sliding hook thing on the long rail? Are you sure? There we go. Seems very radical implying here. Rocket, ready to go. What's I'm this a now? natural born handyman. It's ready, steady, and aim. Fire! We that went right through. I hope I've done you proud, Mac Viper. So now we go up there. Ooh, what is all this? A diary, eh? This looks like some kind of diary or log of some kind. Unlike almost everything in this room, it looks new. All the rest doesn't look very new, that's correct. Whoa! Oh. That seemed to make a lot of things happen at once. Alright, let's see now. October 13th. It's so hard to get accustomed to the sickening stench of this dreadful fishing town, but apparently it's important to him that we establish our base here, so we just take it. Decorating, coming along nicely. No end to the work. A lot of long and boring entries follow. Seems like some kind of complicated records. Let me skip ahead a bit. Let's see. July 6th. We're all accustomed to the stench. It's probably imbued in everyone by now. That's totally a lot in a better. In form of a tall, swarthy man with skin made of ebony. Ignored my words and asked for the book, then disappeared upon my answer. We must find it, no matter what. July 13th. His incomplete form is frustrating. Must find the book. We must find it. That Probably mean the Necronomicon, right? Lumen snuck up here into the summoning chamber to try to get the haunter's mark. <clears throat> What did the fool think would happen? We don't even bother storing their ashes in the urn anymore. Just leave them there as a reminder to anyone stupid enough to try that again. August 6th. Sister Halo's magic hobby proved to come in handy. Praise the haunter! I could scarcely believe my senses when at last she finalized the structure and brothers bright and gleam dropped the cannonball on it. Not only did it not destroy what she'd built, but it lodged itself in the circular space above the stone and is exerting such pressure on the lattice work that you can take a shovel to it and it won't cave in. I wonder if that actually it's works. Like, is that an actual structure you can build like that? So that should at least keep our 
I'm dropping. August 7th. Private investigator making waves in Darkham, looking for lead on the book. Might be a dark blessing in disguise. We just stay on his tail and track him to see if he digs up any leads. Oh, he did, but he doesn't have a book. Necronomicon? Is that me they're talking about? It August is. 13th. Rejoicing! It's very possible that the hostess's fetch dog has sniffed out the book. Time to retire him and go for the prize ourselves. Hostess. Why did that sound familiar? Anyway, that crazily angled stone. I wanted it. If only to get back at these star obsessed maniacs. I think everyone seeing that would think, yep, want that. Exactly what I want. So we have free books, tar, tar stains. All but another stains. Let's read the books. It's the first book in a row. An arcane symbol adorns its cover. Can we read it? I guess it must have some importance to these starry loons for them to display it like this. I've opened it at its bookmark. The stone from the stars is a window in all time and space. It is within it that the haunter sleeps while the yellow sun reigns. And it is from its circular gate that the haunter's incomplete form rises when the words are spoken. Nor shall he ever rise in his true form until the forbidden book be by his side. No end to the So he won't rise until it's the Necronomicon is there. I mean, we don't have it, so there's no danger there. That's about it. It's with the librarian. It to these starry loons for them to Buzz. I've opened it at its bookmark. It is known that touching the stone from the stars might cast upon a mortal being the mark of the hunter. But none should do it unless prepared to face his cold black flames and turn to ashes and dust. No living soul can know whom the haunter chooses to mark and grant vision beyond time and place. Sometimes he's this hunter and sometimes he's this haunter. Now, the text reads haunter, but it's weird it's third book in a row. At least it sounds like sometimes he reads ha hunter. Maybe I misheard that. I guess it must have some important totally possible. Loons for them to display it like this. He always I says the same thing, but I kind of want to get rid of the eyes. The end of all, and the followers of him who lingers in the night's threshold must keep the slaying one from ever setting eye or laying hand upon the book. The butcher brings but the rest is unreadable. The butcher, huh? Oh, he probably no. brings a lot of pain. Okay, we didn't do anything here, but so we have a lens. Looks to be quite powerful. Not it's the word I normally the convex type. Use about lenses. But I, I don't think I can pry it out with my bare hands. You wanna pry it out? Why? We only have a rag. We could clean it. <laughs> That's about all we can do right now. Intense light beam. These dummies tried their best to tear the windows up, but an intense orange light symbolically shines through. I wonder if Phase that's... crazy matchstick structure in a warm glow that strikingly contrasts with the whole starry death cult thing. Dust motes in the light and everything. Nice. It is nice. Yeah, I know I don't get enough vitamin D, but this is not the time or place. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. There's a Let's look at the telescope. In a and when we telescope. reach the maximum time for this episode, and next time we finally get out of this place, I would say. We managed to get up here, so that's good. It's most interesting feature. A big convex magnifying lens. You really want that lens, don't you? Wouldn't know what to do with it. So my assumption is we need to get that lens out and then magnify the light beam to do something here with the lattice work set on fire. Work of what looked to be matches, surrounding some jagged shimmering stone and somehow supporting the kind of cannonball that looks like it was made to bring down battleships. I realize how crazy that sounds, yet here it is before me. That's pretty cool. Matches. 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 Hmm. Matches. Okay, I got it. Biting my lip, eyes half closed with anticipation, I flicked my finger at one match, then another. 
Probably didn't do a whole lot, does it? Nope, nothing at all. The apparently Doesn't fragile work. construction proved to be impervious to my attempts at unbalancing it. There was damn good engineering when you needed it the least. The structure would not collapse, no matter what. That is impressive if you think about it. Pretty martial looking cannonball suspended somehow above that glowing rock by some order of matchstick engineering genius. A cannonball probably makes us heavy enough to thing down there, right? To snatch so that to, to just below. pick it up? Can we just pick it up? Probably really not. That would be too easy. Like, really heavy. Yeah, we got it's the hand. It's firmly by the matches structure. Quite impressive and unmovable. Nope. Un more unmovable ain't good. So, when we have the altar. I examined the darkened stone altar that held the trapezohedron. Creepy thing. Trapezohedron. That's a cool word. It looked as though it had been subject to intense high temperature conditions more than once. I shuddered at the thought of it being sacrificial. Fine dust surrounded What's it wrong with a sacrificial sides, altar? Gently blown to and fro by the draft coming from the open hatch. Can we no do idea something with it? it up here, but I'm not budging it. That much is obvious. You can't even move a cannibal, so yeah. Let's That's some that symbol. kind of cult scratch. Looks to symbolize that shine rock on the pedestal. It's uh, making me a little uneasy, if I'm being honest. Why? It's just a drawing. Eerie, but a drawing. Correct. And we have a drawer. There's a drawer underneath this urn thing. Can we it open it? Doesn't look like it has a lock or anything. So we should open it. Inside the dusty drawer, there was one solitary rusty spoon. Unwritten private investigator wisdom says you never know when you could use a rusty spoon. So pick it up. We have an idea. The inscription above it says, "Here lie in ashes all brothers and sisters foolish enough to think that the stone from the stars chose them to be marked by the haunter." If the inscription is to be believed, those are. Human remains in there. Oh, well, they need to go somewhere, right? In ash form or not. All right. So we did look at every. F well, no, we didn't look at the tar stains. Looks like these cuckoo birds tried to tar up the windows and failed miserably. Look, we only know about stars, not tar. Are, nah, what am I saying? It might rhyme, but bonkers. no. I've played with tar <coughs> enough for today. So I don't want the tar. Now next time, what we're gonna try, try and do... We still have a trap, it's a thing to look at. Trap. It's tra a strange, self-illuminating trip, 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 exactly. trap, trap, mm, weirdly angled rock thing. Yes. Shining, weirdly angled rock it's thing. Placement and the highly original security system tell me that this dingus must be of some critical importance to these starry knowledge jamooks. It could be red, or purple, or red and purple at the same time. Hard to tell. It's clearly purple. How is this red? Shiny. I'm not the kind of Joe what believes in the woo-woo, but this thing gives me a tough run of the heebies and jeebies. While at the same time, kind of calling to me. Well, if it's really calling us, we should pick it up. Private investigator pause on that crazily angled stone. The dubious match constructed security structure won't let me get my hands on it. That's a shame, isn't it? So, what we're going to try next time is use the spoon to get the lens out and then see if we can burn this down and then use the cannonball that will then be f possibly freed for the thing down there. Maybe we can then escape? Maybe that works? Maybe not? I don't know. Probably does. Or not. Who knows? Who knows? So, until then, farewell.